Yo, yo, we're gonna do this like this, man. No intro, no nothing. You feel me? We're gonna jump right into it. Now, um, people are challenging what I read off in the top pretty uh charges in terms of the um aggravated sexual battery of a person less than 13. First thing first, let me address this, right? For the people that flunked out of math class, <laughs> you feel me? <clears throat> that, my friends, is a less than sign, right? You can easily Google this if you seem to have gotten a 55 in math. You know, 55 was the lowest grade, you know. If you got a 55 in math and you didn't know what a less than or greater than sign was, right? One of the things they teach you to remember which one it is because a lot of people get them confused. It's not, I'm not even really even mad at y'all because people do get the greater than and less than confused, but y'all can easily do a quick Google search. You understand? Um, one thing they tell you to remember is something about the gator eats the bigger number or something like that, right? So when you look at a charge like that and it says victim and 13 and the sign is open towards the 13 that means the 13 is the bigger number which means the victim stands for a number that's lesser than 13 celestin sign you feel me the the interpretation of that sign doesn't change because it's no longer math class and it's now uh, a court document you feel me so that's one of the first things we had to clear because you go on my video there was a lot of people that was Somehow confused by that. You understand? Which is, like I said, it's common. People do mix that up. But the main topic at hand is the actual charge, the aggravated sexual battery un of a person under 13. Now, the problem with this, right, is he brought on a person, a.k.a. Mariah Carey, a.k.a. Rachel Dolezal, a.k.a. Adele with the braids. Like, he brought her on to speak on this situation and she seems very emotionally invested you understand which is weird to me considering that she states she's a federal employee so so to speak so whatever you feel me but what i wanted to get into was what y'all asking about the paperwork right so y'all wanted to see the paperwork so this is what i have and the paperwork is in the description you can actually go and look at it so what I'm going to tell y'all to do, right? When you look at this paperwork, type in aggravated sexual battery in, in the search bar because you can search for specific terms. Look up all of the cases of aggravated sexual battery throughout this paperwork. You will see that for the different people that have aggravated sexual battery next to their name, it specified what part of the code it falls under. So the code that she was reading off of her phone, which lists the one, two, three, it's the four plus uh, under the four is A, B, and C, and then it's the five, right? So these are the five parts of the code that it falls under one of these in order to be um, considered aggravated sexual battery. You can read this, right? She looked at it on her phone. It's not like she had like a, a pamphlet or some type of like real credential. She basically read to y'all the same exact thing that I read y'all, right? Now, she's saying he was charged with 4B. Now, nowhere on anything I've seen with his name on it does it specify that he was charged under 4B, right? But on the paperwork that I'm going to that y'all gonna see in the description, it says the person is under 13, right? So, and didn't show off expose this, that he said uh, in another interview that she lied about her age? Ain't, ain't that what? Okay, anyway, back to this charge. Um, it tells you on the code, what it has to fall under in order to constitute as a uh, aggravated sexual battery. Now, when you look at this paperwork, 
And I'm going to show y'all a few examples here just in case y'all think I'm bullshitting. When it's, a, when it's aggravated sexual battery, for other people, they specify which one it is. So for his in particular, they put that it was a victim under 13. Why is it for other people, they're showing something different? So all of this, oh, they didn't, ex they, uh, you, you should expand the paperwork to show the full thing. No, it specifies that for a reason so that they don't have to show the full definition of aggravated sexual battery. That's not there to just as like a vague definition, like, oh, everybody that got aggravated sexual battery, it says, uh, the victim was under 13 next to the name. No, that's not what the paperwork says. As specified, under these different people's cases, it says aggravated sexual battery uh, with an inanimate object or aggravated sexual battery under this code. Like, it specifies what it falls under. So for the charge that's next to his name that says aggravated sexual battery... It's specifying that the victim was under 13. So what are we talking about here? We going off people's explanations or are we going off paperwork of what the paperwork reads to us? It specifically says next to his name, aggravated sexual battery, a victim under 13 years of age. If the victim wasn't under 13 years of age, it would say something else. It would say something else because it does so for other people's cases. So you don't get assault. Um, you don't get aggravated sexual battery and it says victim under 13 next to the charge and you are uh, intimidated a uh, 16 year old or whatever 4B constitutes for. If that was the case, it was specified next to your name. Why? Because it does so with everybody else. So for y'all to be in my comments trying to say, oh, my word not valid or I read the paperwork wrong. No, I didn't read anything wrong. This is him trying his best to cover up what really happened. You know, so that's just really the best I can possibly say. Like, I don't know what else y'all want me to tell y'all, but I will say this. When that man brings his paperwork that specifically says he was charged under 4B, then we can have a discussion about it and I'll even apologize, right? I'll apologize. I ain't got no problem doing that. But also... No more Rachel Dolezal. No, no more her reading off her phone the same exact shit that we all can read. You understand? When he brings his paperwork, whether it be court transcripts or other paperwork that specifically details the, the situation with the minor, like, you're telling me about some shit you've seen on Facebook. 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 Literally anybody could put anything on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, you see a whole bunch of people going by all these different names. They don't have to put correct uh, emails or correct birthdays or you can damn near put whatever you want on Facebook. Except for some people, when you get flagged like I did, you got to put your real name and shit like that. But aside from that, you can pretty much put anything and we still haven't seen a screenshot or nothing like that, or anything involving a victim, to even know what you're talking about. You know, so the day that y'all decide to take people's explanations over what you're seeing in paperwork, and I'm bringing you the paperwork, it's right here, to show that his charge is aggravated sexual battery with a victim below 13 years of age. It says it right here. And if it needs to be specified and read as something else, then it's specified for other people. So 
Y'all do with that what you want. But I'm not responding again until he shows that he was charged with something different. So y'all do with that what you want and deuces, I'm out of here.